Hey guys, welcome back to our urban homestead. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. <laughs> I got a knife! Oh lord. Ha! Ha. So, um, I'm making tacos. April's gonna make guacamole and this video is gonna be guacamole. April's way. And she's gonna be the star of, of the video. So let's see how April makes her guacamole. Okay, so. These are avocados. Oh my jeez. This is a sticker. I'm taking the sticker off the avocado. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I worked in a, we're not gonna call it Mexican, I'm gonna call it a Tex-Mex restaurant for longer than I care to admit. <laughs> so. This is not their recipe, but this is very similar. It would pass as a pretty comparable recipe. Yeah. Obviously the first thing you need are good quality avocados. You don't need these. These are probably what they call large Haas avocados. So. Mm, very technical. Yes. I know people are probably freaking out right now on what I'm doing, but this is how I literally cut. I could probably say tens of thousands of avocados at this point in time so easiest way to get the pit out is literally cut it in half take the heel of your knife and then just press down with your thumb could you demonstrate what the heel is for people who heel don't? of the knife is where your uh, hand is right here this part right here is the heel of your knife not the not the tip this is the tip that i'm cutting <laughs> in with so then you're actually cutting around and a all the way around, you just simply twist in each direction. Oh my, look at those skills. Look at those skills. Easiest way to get an avocado out, this is literally, I just take it and score it while it's still in the skin. Oh, let's get a close up of that. Oh, you like that? You just score it while it's still in the skin. I do little slits like this, and then I go back this way. Because if it is a little hard, it's still quite easy to mash up this way. So you can do it one of two ways. You can get a spoon, which I prefer using a spoon. So that's what I'm going to do. And then you can just take it and you can feel it right against the shell. Look at that technique, guys. This is super weird being on this side of the camera. And that's what you should have left. And then you throw it into your wife's sink that she has to clean. I'll clean the sink. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, I'll be back, or April will be back when... I'm done with my avocado. When the next step is ready. So we had some technical difficulties. You did. Well, I mean, my phone rang and then the video didn't record so april's gonna go over what is in so the, the avocados that's four avocados this is half an onion diced and this is three little baby jalapenos de-seeded and diced in there as well too this is two cloves of garlic that i've cut up as well i'm gonna shimmy that in there this is some fresh stink bug cilantro <laughs> some of the cilantro from the green stock she uh loves cilantro i am you either love it or you hate it it's gonna get loud for a second sorry i am not the biggest fan of cilantro personally oh my oh my what it's loud oh i'm sorry cooking can be loud I'd say that's probably like a bunch of cilantro. It's a technical term? It is. It is. You can buy it by the bunch. <laughs> These are the only red tomatoes that she has left. Because they're in the crock pot, my red ones. I need a new knife. So then you're going to dice those and add them to it. And we'll be back in a, just a minute. <laughs> All right, so we're back. She's got the tomatoes in. This is salt. Oh. What is this stuff? Okay. 
A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. A little bit of pepper. Do any of you guys know uh, who Kay's good cooking is? <laughs> not too much, though. I don't want to be spicy. Oh, my goodness. If you don't know who she is, go look her up on YouTube. Um, hilarious. And, her, you know, her cooking is not very good. But she is a riot to watch. And then I just added some uh, lemon juice. You can use lime juice, too. Yeah, we don't keep lime in the house. First, I'm just mixing it. Oh, look at them mixing skills. I gotta sneeze. <coughs> it was too much pepper. Bless you. It was spicy. <laughs> now comes the fun part. Yes, I'm using the potato masher, but it worked, worked just fine. This is kind of nice. I'm just sitting here drinking some wine while she's doing the work. I kind of like this, guys. It won't happen anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mash it. Mash it, baby. <laughs> My God, she's a noisy cook. All right, here comes the real test. Let's see here. Gonna need something. Probably more salt and more lemon juice. I can tell just by looking at it. Mm, salt's not bad. Here. A little bit of lemon juice, though. Mm -hmm. I think the lemon juice is good. Salt. That's the technical amount of pepper. I'm not gonna do any more mashing. I'm just gonna do a little bit of mixing, a little, a little stirring. Look at these. This is our, you guys. This is seriously ridiculous. Oh my god! How did we get four of them? This is just folding. Folded in. I'm folding in. <laughs> How do you, I don't know, how, how do you fold? But how do you fold? You take. You fold it in. It's such a good show. <laughs> I love that show. They're taking it off of Netflix. What? Yeah, we have to watch it one more time oh before it's gone forever. We've already watched it like five. It's on Hulu. <laughs> it's on Hulu. <laughs> oh, is it really? Mm hmm Yeah. Yes, you guys. And I just need one. One more little taste. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. I don't have fresh block and ever. Honey, you outdid yourself. Good job. High five, team. Way Yay to go. Me. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Cooking with April. <laughs> That's me. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. She makes wonderful guacamole. And uh, I got to get started on these tacos. Yeah, woman. Because I'm hungry. Make this dinner. Girl. Um, so then you want to set that in the fridge for about, what, half hour before you eat it, April? Or you can just eat it right now. <laughs> it's no, better. No, better. It's cold. Yeah. So, good. as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you guys and all of your wonderful comments. Um... Give this video a like so April can see how many likes we can get on this video. So she can say that she gets more likes than me. <laughs> Drop us a comment. And until next time, abundance and blessings to you. Abundance and blessings. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>